Hey guys, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. Once again, welcome. it's irrigating season, better known to us as irritating season. Um, sometimes it can just kind of get under your skin a little bit. But anyway, um, it's a good thing that I'm teaching this. It's called the right reaction, right? When we're faced with different uh, trials and, and uh, circumstances in life, how are we going to react to it? Well, uh, our study comes from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 through 9. I'm going to read it from the New King James goes like this, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, worthy, meditate, hear this, meditate on these things, the things which you have learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. So, uh... We found out in our study that the first thing we have to do is have a right attitude. In other words, to have the right reaction, we have to have a right attitude. The right attitude is rejoice in the Lord always, and again, I say rejoice. Why can we rejoice in the Lord? Because he's at hand. That's what it says in that passage, and again, we covered that. Then we found out that we have to have right praying. When we come before the throne of God, remember we've talked about this, don't come before him like a wimp. You need to know who you are. You need to know your word. You need to come boldly before his throne of grace uh, in time of need to obtain mercy and grace. That's what the Bible says. We come boldly. Why? Because we know who we are in Christ. Today I want to talk, oh, and then we, um, uh, and that's right praying. Today I want to talk to you about right thinking. Now again, I just gave you a whole list. If there's anything noble, anything pure, anything praiseworthy, and, and all the rest of those things, meditate on these things. Colossians says, um, think on the, meditate on those things that are above and not the things on this earth. See, those are things that are going to give us joy even in the time of trial. Those are the things that are going to make us react properly when trials and tribulations come. Amen? Uh, think about this. This comes from Isaiah chapter 26, verse uh, 3 and 4. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. So who is it talking about? It's talking about God. He will keep us in perfect peace when our minds are stayed on him because um, we trust him. And, and then it goes on to say, trust in the Lord forever. For in Yah, the Lord, is everlasting strength. So we find here that we get peace and we get strength as we keep our minds stayed on him. Focus on him. Focus on those things that are above and not be below. And then uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 and through 5 says, for, for though we, hang on, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and it goes on so in other words these are some of the ways that we can control our thought process and how it works so that our reaction uh, uh, is right a right reaction in um, again I want to read this passage that comes from Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 one more time so that we listen to it closely uh, finally, brethren, whatever things are pure, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. I can just tell you, if you want to really mess up Satan, <laughs> meditate on the things that are above and not down here on the earth. You know, there's an old saying that says, uh, uh, he's just no, uh, he is so spiritually minded, he's no earthly good. That's exactly the way we ought to be. We should be so focused on the things above, the things that are our kingdom principles and, 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 and embedded in the kingdom. Those, that should be our whole thought process. Boy, it would be wonderful because someday it will be when we all join Jesus in heaven. Amen. Hey, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.